it as a main dish or as an individual appetizer, this terrine is served cold with a flavored Indian mayonnaise. To make the dish, you will need mayonnaise, lemon juice, fennel powder, cumin powder, curry powder, pink berries, noyi prat or dry vermouth, egg white, cream, dill, chive, salt fillet, smoked salmon, salt and pepper. In the bowl of a food processor, place the fish. I'm using salt today, but you may use any white fish to make the mousse and process. Add the noyi fat and the egg whites. Clean the side of the bowl to get those big chunks and process again. When the fish is well pureed and very fine, then incorporate the cream on medium speed. Turn off the machine. Again, clean the side of the bowl. Season with salt and white paper powder. I'm using white paper because I do not want to have any black dots. Process again. Place it in the bowl and cook it to taste the seasoning. Hmm, pretty bland. More salt. And more paper. Process. Transfer the mixture into a bowl. Add the berries. Reserve about four to five slices to garnish on the top later on when the terrine will be cold. You want to have about half cup of smoked salmon cut into bite-sized diced. The, the salmon I'm using today is wild sockeye from the Pacific West Coast. Finely chop the chives. Those are fresh from the garden. Then chop the dill, separate the leaves from the stem and chop it. Good. Add it to the mixture. As you can hear, I just turned on my kettle and I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then mixed all the ingredients together. Prepare the terrine. A true terrine has a lid and a hole for the steam to escape. So here I melted some butter and with a brush I'm just going to butter the pan. This is a Kaistaron terrine but you can use any type of terrine for the dish. If you don't have a terrine you may use ramekins and make individual ones. You will fill the ramekins, wrap them with plastic wrap and make a little hole on the center for the steam to escape. Then fill up the terrine, make it smooth on the top. You may also tap the terrine on a cutting board. Cover the terrine with its lid, place the terrine into a bain and fill it with boiling water. Place the bain-marie in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes to an hour. It's been about 45 minutes. The terrine is almost cooked. It's still a bit wet here and there. So another 15 minutes. The terrine is cooked. When I insert a kebab, 
it comes out dry or mostly dry. You don't want to have it too dry because you want to keep some moisture into the terrin. Let the terrin cool down about half an hour at room temperature, then store it in the fridge overnight. Our terrin is cold now, so it's time to make the sauce. In a bowl, place the mayonnaise and with a whisk, incorporate the lemon juice. The curry powder, whisk. The cumin. And the fennel. Taste. Modify the seasoning with a pinch of salt. We'll test with the other side. Good. Let's have a look at the terrine now. Unmold the terrine. Nice. Slide a knife between the pâté and the terrine dish all around. Then cover the terrine with smoked salmon. Cut the slices to fit. Okay, let's see if we can remove the black here. This is the fat of the salmon. Doesn't look very sexy. Et voilà. Garnish with dill sprig all around. You may serve the terrine as an appetizer or as a main course with a salad in the summer. It's a very nice cold dish and very refreshing. Today we are serving the terrine with a Indian mayonnaise, but you can serve it with why not a basil sauce or other type of sauces. Salt terrine with smoked salmon and pink berries served with an Indian mayonnaise. Bon appétit!